What's up guys, my name is JC and today I'm going to show you how to add light rays into your video in DaVinci Resolve. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so this is going to be our example footage. It's just this footage of uh, this, the light shining through in this forest. And I think this is a good real world example because maybe you want to go in and post and add in uh, a little bit of mist, a little bit of fog and make it sort of look a little bit more dramatic. And so this is a great way to just add that little extra touch. So what we want to do is we want to go over here to our effects and then we're going to go down to open effects. And since I don't like sitting here scrolling and wasting my time, uh, I like to just search for things. So you click the little hourglass and we go and search for light rays and we drag it onto the clip that we want to uh, add this effect onto. And it looks like shit right now. And you can see we have some options up here and to be honest, this looks terrible. So we're gonna fix that. The first thing that we have here is select output. And this is gonna let you see uh, the light rays or the source region and then it, uh, light rays alone you can see this is how the light rays look and this is a good way to to sort of refine the light rays and we have the source regions and this is what we're going to mess with first so now the reason why it looks so bad is because it's getting the light rays from all different types of of light you can see that there's some coming in up here we don't want that we just want it to come from the sun so what we're going to do is go to final image and then hit source regions and then we're going to up the threshold and we don't want to up it too much we just want to up it enough so that it's the sun and maybe a little bit of that sky uh coming through there all right so now we're going to go back to the final image and you can see it looks better but the sun rays are very off so next what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we're going to change the position of the light rays and i want them to sort of be streaming in here to the right so that's where i'm going to have them and you can change the Y axis and it's gonna change them up or down a little bit. I want them facing a little bit more down, maybe a little bit more horizontal since the sun is setting. So I'm gonna increase the length here so that it's shining through and it looks better. Now I actually wanna mess with the position a little bit more and bring it over here like that. Then we're gonna soften this just a little bit. You don't wanna do it too much, otherwise you're not really gonna see the, the rays too much. If that's the look you're going for though, totally fine. You can make them pretty harsh, but I don't think that looks very realistic. Just gonna soften them a little bit. You can also mess with the brightness. You can soften them even more and then mess with the brightness. But I think just for this example, so that you can see them, I want them to be a little bit less soft here. And we're doing that at the cost of realism, just for example purposes. Um, so then the composite, I usually change that to screen. And then uh, we can change the color here. And what we can do is click on the color there, go over here, click on the eyedropper, then I'm going to click on a region here that's a little bit more yellow, right? And you can see instantly that changes it and it makes the effect look a little bit more believable. And the nice thing about DaVinci Resolve is, as you can see in the intro as well, it's going to track it automatically. So we can go through and as we go through our footage, you can see that it's tracking the light source automatically and we don't really have to do any keyframing or any other work. Now, if I were to go in and make this effect a little bit more believable, I may mess around with, with uh, masking out that tree right here in the foreground. Might mess with that if I was doing this for real. But just for an example purpose, you can see this looks pretty good. And this took us, what, less than two minutes of our time to, to add this in. All right, guys, and that's pretty much it. Uh, you just drag and drop. You let DaVinci Resolve do a bunch of the hard work and you go in there and you refine it a little bit to your needs. So uh, that's it. I hope you use this in one of your video projects uh, in the future. And if you like this type of content, go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.